Hey everybody, Astro Junior here today as your host doing a review for the SH Fig Arts Tamashi slash event exclusive Green Ranger Tommy Oliver. And if those that are asking what's the difference between this and that one, well, this one has the unpainted head. I mean, yeah, this one has the unmasked painted head, face printing head with, you know, using that new Tamashi face print technology and it came out really clear. But then after that, I think the suit is a bit more brighter on this one. And also, he only comes with his dagger, not the long sword. So those who have the classic one, hold on to that one because this one does not come with the long sword, just the dagger. So yeah, for those asking, how does the box look? Well, we have this miraculous thing here. Sorry guys, I just hit my light. And this box is pretty sweet. You know, he got the Green Ranger and it says even exclusive. And he got the 25 anniversary stamp on the top left. And that's the front. Here's the other side. And here's the other side. And the back saying how awesome the Green Ranger is. Because we all know nobody can be green. So yeah, that's it for the box. Let's put this thing away and pull out Tommy. He's like, alright guys, let's get this going. Alright, so as for the head, you guys are probably curious how's the detail. Well, let's zoom in to this sucker here. Here we have the front of the head. And you can see here, it's like, it's kind of interesting, it's either he's disgruntled or he's happy, I, I can't tell. But, you know what, we got an unmasked head, so that's all that matters to me. So here's the front, here's the left, and if you guys can see here, he actually has his piercing. And there goes my dog, biting a wiener dog. One second. Alright, so here's the left side, now we're going to do the right side. And no piercing on that one, but that's how he is in the show. And then you also can see he has a ponytail. Let's show off that ponytail, Tommy. Here we got here a 1990s ponytail from Tommy Oliver. Alright. So let's go back and zoom out. So yeah, for accessory-wise, he comes with his masked helmet. And just like the suit, it matches the color, and it's really nice. And it's easy to swap out. So if you guys are curious, all you gotta do is pop out the head. You see the tiny joint. Slap this thing in. And ta-da. You're back to the Green Ranger. But we already seen this helmet. We all want to see the unmasked head more. Oops, I twisted his head a little. So now, as for other accessories, he actually has his dagger, and like I mentioned, his longsword is missing, since Tamashin included on this one. He comes with these two open palm hands, kind of, where you can do like a little touching the dagger tip, or just posing it. And then we have another open palm hands right here, where pretty much you can put the dagger positioning that way, or the other way, or just put other items. And then we have another open palm, sorry, open hand. That's how the dagger looks on it. And those are curious how the dagger looks with the other hand. Pop out this one. Put out this guy. So pretty much it's just position, you know. This is the best one for the mouth where you start singing the, starts playing the flute. And the other one is just for fighting. And then he of course comes with his two rocking fisted hands. And that's it for accessories. So if you guys already have the original one, you know how's the articulation, but I'm going to go over it. For the head, you can do a spin with no problems. You can look kind of down. You can look really up. You can twist your arm around because the shield is there. But I've seen people pop this thing out and they can twist their arm around afterwards. But honestly, you don't really have to. You can just keep it like this or just join it around. You could go this high. You can go this high. You can go back that low. And it's not bad, you know. Even though with the shield in the way, you can still do a lot of good articulation with the arm. Just moving around. He, of course, comes with double jointed. And then he has hand swivel joint. He can go left. He can go right. And then he can go really up high and really down low. As for ab crunch, well, that's the problem with this one. You, you can only go down like this. There's pretty much no ab down, but there's ab back. Really interesting, and you know, you can't pull out the joint. 
I mean, you can't pop it out like the legs where you can like extend it. It just that's it. But you do have you know ab swivel, which is great. You do, of course, have waist swivel, which is also great. And then you have belt movement. Check out my belt. It can go left and it can go slightly right. Now it's your leg movement. You can uh, do the splits really well with no problems. You can kick really high and really back. And you have double jointed legs, really good double jointed legs. And you can pop out the legs so you can extend it more. And of course, you can do slight right and slight left, but don't do too much because you might end up breaking something. And you don't want to break this guy because poof, you're going to be upset. Now, as for boot swivel, you do not have, but you do have good ankle pivot. You can go left, you can go right. You can kind of kick high. You can kick, no, sorry, not kick high. You can lift high. You can push down low. And you do have toe pivot, the magical toe. Look, Ma, I'm standing. And as for the holster, for those asking, you can actually lift it up as any way as you want, and you can pop it out too. There's a little joint hole. But I would just leave it alone, because once you pop it out, it's going to get really loose, and it's going to start coming off. Now, let's do the skull comparison. And just pop. Pose them really standing straight. And let's grab some Marvel Legends. Actually, we'll start off with Masco. You can see here that he pretty much has no height comparison next to Batman. And then we're going to come next to another figure arts, Iron Man. Yeah, I don't know why figure arts release these guys like to the point that they're almost just five inches, which is probably even less. Probably unless. And here we're gonna put him next to the Marble Legends Jackal. Because you know it's always good to I don't know, it's good to have an army of these guys because they just look like good beat up monsters. Let's see. For kicks, let's put him next to Jessica Jones. What a female character. still see here that any character can overtower these figures per rangers but you know if you're not a scale compared uh, you're not a scale problem person then you're okay these things are actually perfect and if you just play around with the camera you can uh, beat that skull problem now just for another kick let's put him next to 3a and 3a are still taller than him oops sorry and for those who are asking this is the 3a von von Dom. that's 112 scale so, all right, guys. So for this figure, you can actually pick it up at I don't know if I mentioned it already, but you can pick it up at the SDCC booth, Tamashi booth, or any Tamashi event exclusive that's gonna be popping around the states for the I think for the next coming months. And I mean, yeah, I believe so in New York Comic Con as well. So yeah, be sure to if you guys really want to pick up this line, go for it before it goes out. Cause fortunately, Bandai lost the rights to Power Rangers, and now Hasbro is gonna take over. And if you really like the figure arts line. You better hop on it. And I doubt that we're going to get another unmasked head besides Tommy's um, White Ranger suit and then the Red Ranger suit right here. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or message me personally, whichever, and I'll do my best to respond. Alright, take care and see you next time. I also want to do a huge shout out to Impella Universe who helped me get this figure from San Diego Comic Con. Thanks so much, man, and I hope you're having a good time over there.